G'day guys, welcome to another episode of Gray's Builds, part of the 200 series collection. Today we're going to be uh, changing out the rear suspension in the 200 series. So tutorial I guess you'd say uh, on how to do it using a 22 mil uh, ratchet spanner to get to the top shock mount it's quite difficult to get to uh, and it's quite hard to uh, video of course given its position um, but you'll see it's a bit of a struggle to get up in there uh, it's probably slightly worse on the driver's side on the right hand side due to the uh, auxiliary fuel tank and also uh, taking out the spare tire makes it much easier to get to the other side. Unfortunately I lost a little bit of footage here so I had to get some Stilsons onto the outside of the shock uh, to be able to crack them. Once, once you've cracked the top nut then you can hold onto the shock and uh, spin the nut off with the ratchet wrench. The ratchet wrench makes it so much easier than a normal spanner. I always like to use anti-seize, uh, especially on this bottom shock mount bolt. Uh, they do tend to get a lot of uh, water and rubbish uh, splashed onto them, and the anti-seize bolt just uh, makes it much easier to get out next time when I change shocks. Lost a little bit of footage again at the end here. Uh, all that was finishing up was the two bolts into the sway bar and uh, torque them back up. And then wheels and tyres back on, torque up your wheel nuts, all good to go. So a little bit of my reasoning as to why I'm replacing standard suspension back into the Land Cruiser is uh, because I'm moving interstate uh, and I want to do a GVM upgrade uh, at some stage. Uh, GVM upgrades are only recognized in the state that you're registered in. So for example if you get a commonly available GVM upgrade like uh, TJM or our ARB uh, provides, um, yes it's perfectly legal and registered in your state. If you move into state then you have to have it re-engineered even though the exact same kit is available in the state that you're moving to in Australia this is obviously 
and uh, so therefore uh, because I'm my imminent retirement to Tasmania is coming up uh, I don't want to uh, spend a fortune on a GVM upgrade in the Northern Territory to have it re-engineered in Tasmania. My suspension is 180,000 k's old now, starting to get a little bit soft, a little bit wallowy at speed and um, and so therefore uh, the reason why I found a set of brand new springs and shocks from uh, OEM uh, somebody else had done a GVM upgrade they're uh, pretty cheap when you can find a set in fact a lot of people just throw them away as scrap which is a bit of a waste as far as I'm concerned so that's the reasoning behind why I'm uh, replacing like for like it's basically just to get me through until uh, I move to Tasmania and I can get my GVM upgrade done there Anyway, that's it for today. I uh, hope you got something out of it. Please, if you've got any comments or uh, questions, drop them down into the comments down the bottom. And uh, hopefully we'll have some more videos coming soon. Thanks for watching. Cheers.